Well, Kelly, we're coming to you live from the park and ride just off of I-83, and this also happens to be the staging area for state highway crews, which you'll see parked behind me, all loaded up with salt, ready for the next round. This after a mixed bag of weather this morning, which left these same crews fighting an uphill battle. It reads like a Dr. Seuss book. You have big shovels, you have medium shovels, and yes, you have little shovels all over clearing snow, sleet, and ice here in northern Baltimore County. We're salting as fast as we can, and it's just, we can't keep up with it. Word from the State Highway Administration's Salt Dome in Hereford suggests Mother Nature has given drivers the toughest kind of assignment. It's ice, ice, all ice. Can't keep up with it. It's coming down so heavy, so stay off the roads. Roads like Interstate 83, the Baltimore-Harrisburg Expressway, which became a slow-moving, slush-filled route despite the plows and salt trucks' best efforts. And smaller roads had even bigger problems. The roads are rough on Big Falls. It's like, uh, I don't even think a snow plow came through yet. But uh, the car's making it, and all I gotta do is go back. <laughs> Make it back over safe, I'm all right. I did take a different route. I didn't take a big hill that I typically take, so I took a uh, uh, emergency road, and I just went slow. Their common destination, the Hereford Shopping Center, where Don Marvel worked to help clear the lot one shovel at a time for the umpteenth time this winter. Since it started snowing this year, it's been every week we've had to move snow. How much do you have in front of you today? Oh, I've got 22 driveways after this parking lot. So we'll be probably about 10, 11 o'clock tonight finishing up. I-83 relatively clear right now. Again, these crews are standing by. We have a, a light mist right now, which might seem harmless enough until these temperatures drop tonight, and then it's only going to add to more icy conditions. Reporting live in Hereford, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.